Hey guys, welcome to the 22nd part in this Python series for beginners in Python. In this one we're going to be talking about objects in Python. So, it's a very tricky concept and it's to do with what's called object-oriented programming. And a lot of people don't tend to get this topic for the first time, but I'm just going to try my best to explain it and then hopefully if you sort of re-watch this video and watch other people's videos and, you know, read some documentation about what object-oriented programming is, and, you know, after the next couple of videos in this series, you should have a fairly good understanding of what object-oriented programming is. So, to start off that sort of mini-series, if you like, within this Python for Beginners series, I'm going to talk about objects. So, one object is just an instance of a class. So, what does that mean? Well, we don't know what a class is yet, because we're going to be talking about that in the next video. So, I'm going to sort of try to illustrate what a class is without writing a class yet, because that's sort of another video in itself. So, let's just do something really simple, and let's just define an x uh, variable and set it equal to 5. And then, we're going to use the type function, which you've seen before in Python, and all that does is say what type of values stored in, in a particular variable, so in this case x. And we see that it's an integer type. And we've seen this before, I've, I've showed you that, you know, 5 has a type of int, and what that is, is the class. So, I've not really touched upon this part of it before, although you may have seen it in previous videos, but the class is sort of like a blueprint for you know, every single integer that you use in Python. So any time you use an integer in Python, you're using the integer class, or the int class, because it's just shortened, because it's easier to write like that. And what we can do is we can have multiple objects. So 5 is the object in this, in, in this case. So we could have y equals 6, and we could have z equals 7. And all of these are you know, multiple instances of this int class, okay? So, the objects, in this case, are 5, 6, and 7, and they can be stored in variables or you can do whatever with them. But one of the important things to bear in mind here is that you can have as many objects as you want that all sort of stem from a particular class. That means they all have the same attributes and the same structure as each other, so they all have the same integer properties. And so in Python, uh, it being an integer means that you can do things like addition to it. And that would be defined within the class itself, the int class, to be able to do things like that. If we type dir, we can see that the all the methods that we can use on the integers, basically. And any ones with the double underscore, again, you can ignore. So really, there's these that you can see that we can use, which have been defined in the integer class. So that's a very quick and basic introduction to object-oriented programming with objects. In the next one, we're going to be talking about classes. And then hopefully, once you've got that better understanding of what a class fundamentally is, you'll sort of understand what I mean in this video slightly better, like what an object is and how you can have multiple objects, uh, you know, that all use the same class, like a blueprint. So just bear that in mind. But in the next one, we're going to be talking about classes. 